Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Paradise Killer. Last time we left off, we finally found the last red crest and we got a few updates on uh, various things from a bunch of the characters about the demon that's crowding around and while I was looking for a save point last time, I noticed this over here. And yeah, it seems like it's just a blood crystal, but I thought maybe it'd be something interesting since it was so hidden. But, oh well, just a blood crystal. So I wanted to save it, I didn't want to pick it up if it was going to be something important. But yeah, now we can go ahead, go back over there. What do we want to do now, though? Let's see, I want to try and get into the barracks. I really, really want to try and get into the barracks. But I'm not sure how per se. So let's... Let's travel. We talked... We talked to a marshal, and it was like, oh yeah, the gas is leaking, so... Maybe now we can get in there? I... I'm not sure, but I want to try. So... Because we... That, that feels like one of the last areas we, like, haven't explored at all. And I'm not sure what else I would do besides what I've already done. Well, let's see if my... I need to find out... Uh, return to the judge, start the trials. I need to find out what the third holy seal is. Yeah, we still need to do that too. There's an empty blood vial. Had a K written on it. There's a receiver... on the side of the demonic containment crate. What activated it? What does Henry remember? New Knight. New Knight is the goddess of warriors. Her statue should be in the barracks. Was someone trying to rile Henry up? The report doesn't mention anything like this. Was it a uh, why did Lydia have a message about the obelisk on the beach? There are some obscure symbols on another planet. What the hell is going on? I need to find the right sequence to solve the puzzle. And Lydia had a message about the obelisk on the beach. That's probably helps to solving the second holy seal. Uh, the bar marshals are body swapped. The bodies must have come from somewhere close by. The whole of the council building is a crime scene. I need to check it over top to bottom. And yeah, you two. Been meeting in secret at the farm. Why? Maybe they're enjoying the beach. Okay, so we have something to follow up on if this isn't the, what we're supposed to be doing. Halt! This is a restricted area. So we we still can't get in, even though it said like you know, once I did that thing and let the gas out, I should be able to sneak into the barracks. But that's what it told me. But we still can't. Barracks are sealed unless you're a marshal. Do we need, like, marshal blood or something? I mean, I guess that would maybe be the case. And we've checked up here before. There's just no way to get in here. Because you can't get in through the roof. Alright, well, let's go investigate um, the farm and the beach then. Why don't we? So, map. Okay, Agrifields. It should be past the Deep Factory. Which, where is the Deep Factory? Hmm. Deep Factory, Deep Factory. I think it should be over this way, shouldn't it? Right? Let's see if I can just see exactly where it's at. Cause there's the barracks. I don't know what this is down here. Maybe I should just use my blood crystal and teleport over there. Let's see, where's a phone? Yeah, we only have one blood crystal left, but I'm not totally sure where the deep factory is. I can't, like, see it from here. Okay, yeah, let's just teleport out of here. <clears throat> Alright. To the... Uh, agri fields we go because there's apparently something to do with the statues on the beach there Possibly the code to the second holy seal. Oh This is the comms tower. It's at the agri fields. Oh Oh, you're the comms tower. Okay. We finally found this stupid thing Okay, um Yeah, hit me up Y yeah, okay, okay, cool, cool. This computer is attached to the communications tower. If I can crack the code, then I'll be able to use the tower to verify any cell phone data I can find. Oh my gosh, finally. I didn't realize that's where this was. 
cool. So we got that, we got that. Little tiny horns. <clears throat> I'm glad I finally found this, jeez. I wonder if other people are as confused about this as me, because like... Usually the Nightmare computers were like marked on the map. But this one wasn't for some reason. Um, and I'm not sure why. Uh, okay, that's looking real messed up. Huh. I think we want to do this, 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 and then yeah, the tiny horns. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Finally. Yeah, usually the Nightmare computers are like a waypoint, so I would have remembered that this one was here, but... Uh, I didn't. Because it wasn't marked, I guess. That's got it. There's usually an interface at the top of the towers where I can verify cell phone data I found. Okay, this should give us a lot to go on. That's some weird noises. The tower can help me scan phone records. Witness. Sure. I've got the record. A call was made by Akiko to Witness. Witness was in his apartment. <clears throat> but it says Akiko was at the Syndicate HQ. That's weird. She told me she was at the Desolation uh. Cell. She lied to me. Ooh. There's an unknown number in here. It's not in any Syndicate phone records. Uh, it was dialed right at midnight last night. The call picked up, but ended in under a second. Mysterious number. This matches the receiver on the killer demon crate I found in the council penthouse. Look like Looks like Witness dialed that number at midnight last night and ended it immediately, so it was just to activate the crate so the demon would get out. What the hell? Did he intentionally open the crate when the council were killed? Ooh. This tower can help me scan phone records. Yep, Yuri. Got it. I've got the records. It looks like all the calls made to or by Yuri happened at the celebratory gardens. <clears throat> all the calls from last night are from Yuri to Lydia, all about the same length. They're, these are him directing her to different syndicate members for pickup. Please review the data between 2315. There's a gap. The phone went dark for 10 minutes. Why? Unknown. This matches up with what Lydia told me. There's a gap in time where Yuri's phone couldn't be contacted and no one can account for him. Ooh. This tower can help me scan. Yep. We're done for now, though. That gave me a lot of information. Jeez. Wanna know what I think about crime? Hit me. It's in the smiles, love dies. You start breaking smiles, and I bet you'll find the answer. Test me. I'm not into smashing faces in. It was a metaphor or abstract or something. Stop being so literal. Break the smiles. Okay, I can't believe that actually worked, but... Yeah, we found the stupid comms tower, finally. I didn't expect it to be at the agri fields. Like, I expected that just to be a farm, so... Alright, and it said Sam and Lydia have been spending a lot of time over here. So why would that be? Why would that be, Sam and Lydia? <clears throat> I'm so happy we got all that information, finally. So we got some stuff on you guys. We have an alibi breaker for you. You weren't where you said you were. You have a wireless receiver that you probably used to break up, uh, out the demons. And then I have your phone records as well. Yuri seems to be where he said he was going to be, except for 10 minutes. So if we can account for him in that little period of time, his alibi should still hold. Okay, so it said they were at the farm. And then Lydia has a note about the statues on the beach. I was thinking it'd be this beach, but maybe not. All right, let's just let's just go in here. We haven't really explored this area much. I remember coming here once, but I didn't do much else. Yeah, cuz there's still blood crystals and stuff here that I never collected. Can I move these crane arms for anything? Doesn't look like it. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't seem like there's much hanging out over here. Although I can get this, I think. If I'm good, I'm not good. Can I get up there on that? If I can just get on top of this thing, I should be able to hop up there and grab it. There we go. Got it. Okay, I don't see anything really hidden in here. So... I'm trying to check down every one of these pads, like maybe something's discarded or, some, or something like that. Oh, hi Shinji. 
What are you doing hiding over here? <clears throat> you notice the clouds? Like this. What about them? They break. You see them flicker every so often. This reality is dying. The wheels are starting to come off. What else is going to break? Everything and nothing, probably. Something to look forward to. I see. Shinji always the loose cannon. Okay, so... Yeah, there doesn't seem to be much hanging out here. Like, I can run along all of these things and stuff, but... There's just... There's nothing here. I've either gotten everything, or there's just not much in the first place. There are some... This building over here, though? What do you do? What's the deal with you, huh? Anything I can get from here? Hello. Dead Nebula Agricultural Admin Building. Workers must report the supervisor before beginning shift. Okay. I'm sure the bitrate looks beautiful as I'm running through these leaves. Alright. Uh... Supervisor Office. I would like to get in there. Maybe there's something important in there. I don't think I can, though. Uh, what's up here? Uh, I can't get in this door, right? No. I think I've been up here before. I think I recall doing it. Yeah, we turned these valves and... Yeah, that washed that thing up. Okay, I remember this now. But we still have the area over here to explore. There's like a beach down here. I want to go check out. Well, there's a blood crystal for one. Okay, and it said Sam and Lydia were meeting over here. Hello. Some kind of message in a bottle. Let's see. These seem to be lyrics. The theme of the song appears to be doing... Anything you can to leave your home and go away. Breaking the cycle, finding something new, going on a shopping spree, never coming back. Signed by the Daybreaks. Lydia and Sammy sound like they're unhappy here. Maybe they're looking for a way out of the syndicate? Yeah. Yeah, we do, do, we do know that. Lydia told us. Okay, so that's why they've been hanging out over here. At this particular little beach. Okay, well now... Now I definitely want to get to the beach and the statues on it because Lydia has a note there saying that it's some kind of combination possibly the combination to the second holy seal so I feel like we should investigate that hmm where's uh, the thingy over there have I unlocked this one this teleport point I hope so please Nope. Where was that other one at? All the way over there. Okay, we'll do it. Let's unlock it. <clears throat> Alright. Holidia for pickup. Ooh, jellyfish. Jellyfish are neat. I like jellyfish. So where can I take you? Um, I want to go to... Donchi used to be... Bubble Burst Beach. Place to relax in paradise, yeah. All right, here we are, the beach. And we have been told to examine the statues on the beach, right? I see these like weird obelisk looking things, but no statues. Maybe they're talking about a different beach? Hmm, because this is where we found KHX's body, if I remember correctly. Oh, that's a blood crystal hanging out up there. But yeah, we haven't really explored this location that much. There's that area. The docks, where we found out that the boat rides had stopped. Yeah, was it this? It's the boarding... Uh, the sign says they were shut down. Yeah, we found that out before. Statues at the beach. Aha, here, statues. Okay. What you got for me, if anything? Nothing, it seems. Uh, okay, what's in here, though? Maybe there's some sort of information hidden in here? About the second holy seal? 
I hope that's the case. Because I, otherwise I came all the way over here for nothing. Hello? Uh... Yeah, this is just music. Well, at least I know I haven't been up here before. Okay. Could unlock this fast travel point. Yeah, I definitely haven't been up here before. Definitely not. When you sat with me and looked at the moon, 19th Island. There's that blood crystal. That's our only one. Okay, so... Nothing down there, it seems. Uh, get up there, love dice. I said get up there. Okay, there we go. Alright, what is this? The button isn't working, I need to activate it first. Interesting. Is that a camera, too? Okay, this is another nightmare computer I had never found. Because, yeah, I had just never been up to this location. This needs to be the smaller pyramids with you two. And then we just have you two. The pyramid ones are easy. I like those. Oh yeah, this one gave me some difficulty before, but yeah, it's just as simple as that. And then you're the big moon, I think? No. Not quite the big moon. Yeah, you're the small moon. Here we go. This nightmare computer controls the obelisk on the beach. There's an activation command. Activating obelisk star map. Done. The answer to the second holy seal is revealed. Go to space, use the answer, see the cosmos, fear the cosmos, lust after the cosmos, embrace the cosmos, scream at the cosmos, put a gun to your head and cry the at the cosmos. Is here. I would have expected KHX to massage that text a bit before he released version 1.0. These obelisks hold the secret to getting through the second holy seal. Normally this requires a data key. KHX crafted the obelisk and the data encryption. A man of many talents. Inserting the data key handshakes with the computer and allows the user, user to activate the obelisks. Good job, Star... Star... Good job, Starlight could break into it. Good thing Starlight could break into it, probably. The logs show that this was accessed recently by someone That's else. Weird. Yuri, what was he doing the here? Is here? He connected a key and activated the obelisks. Hmm... <laughs> There's something else here as well. A remote key? An unknown device wirelessly connected to the machine, and the key was input remotely two days ago. From where, though? It would need to be somewhere within line of sight to the device. Whoever remotely accessed it would need to be able to see the obelisks. Somewhere near here will have line of sight. Maybe up on the cliff behind me? The obelisk should tell me something at least. Somewhere up there. Hmm. Okay, and the obelisks down there, they've been activated now, I guess? And why are you taking pictures? Yeah, doesn't Doom Jazz have a similar thing outside his office? Alright. <clears throat> okay. Looks like this is showing me a code. The symbols are... Cool. Scholar, bird, snake, bull. I've seen these symbols before when I put it on my space helmet. I should go back there and try again. Uh... The horrifying depths of space can wait. Okay, that's nice that it gave me the option to fast travel back over there, but... I want to check this out over here. Because oh. Love Dies mentioned that up here may be where someone could have seen... Uh, or activated it remotely. And yeah, down there's where KHX died. Maybe someone killed KHX because KHX noticed them doing this. Alright, I'm up here. There's a crystal. Hmm. Yeah, I bet Yuri killed KHX, so KHX wouldn't warn everybody that Yuri activated the second, uh, the obelisks like that. And that's why, um, Yuri was clutching, uh, or KHX was clutching Yuri's ring. I'm sure that's probably the case. Yeah, okay. Alright, well, Love Dies mentioned coming up here to see if we could get a clear vantage point. 
But, um... Yeah, I don't, uh... I came up here, but nothing happened. Let's see, is there... Where was the obelisk nightmare computer remotely accessed from? It needs to be somewhere with line of sight to the obelisks. Ask Yuri what he knows about the... Okay, so this has line of sight to the obelisks, so I can't help but notice. Let's see if we can get up there. It's it's either this building or the deep factory. Those are the only two places I believe that would have had that kind of line of sight. Because, yeah, that doesn't... Hmm. Is witness... Is that witness's place? No, that's knife through the heart. Okay, so that's Sam. I was thinking maybe witness had done it somehow. Okay, so... This would definitely give you enough of a point to see the obelisks. If you remotely accessed it from here. So let's get up here. And see. Hi, Shinji. What's the shape of crime, love dies? The shape? Like a metaphor or something, what shape does crime take? Some crimes are a pyramid, wide at the bottom, but the solution is a narrow point. Some crimes are an inverse pyramid, balancing precariously on a single point with a frighteningly wide conspiracy. You really did have a lot of time up in the Idle Lands, didn't you? Okay, so... Here. Does this work? You would have been able to see the obelisks perfectly from here. On the roof of the dead zone. And you could have... yeah. We would be in line of sight. Hmm. Love Dies isn't saying anything, though, so... Maybe not. I wonder if, like, I didn't do this all the way or something, because... Yeah, I still can't get into the barracks, but... No, I'm pretty sure I did it. Yeah, it's active and everything. And the screams are definitely going off. Well, so we checked on the roof of here, but we didn't get anything from this, so... Oh well. Let's jump over here. I would like to try and make it onto the roof over there. Oh, Oh, I fell. This doesn't look like a very good spot to be in. This doesn't look like a totally intended area. Um, get me out of here, please. Thank you. Yeah, I would like to get on the roof over there. Huh. Huh. There we go. Hi, Shinji. What's up? Don't you think it's a bit of a flaw? What is? Allowing a possessed citizen to stay on the island. You people are all about getting rid of demons. It's one of your main things. You never shut up about it. It's a little convenient that a perfect weapon would be left on the island and not eliminated. Good scapegoat as well. You think that's what happened? I really don't care, love dies. I'm just shooting the shit. See you around. Later, Shinji. Always a joy. Okay, so let's see this. It's one of those. There's also one down there, but I don't want to drop down. So what's the deal with this? We can get up here normally? Really? Weird. Okay, here's this. Let's go ahead and grab another blood crystal. Up we go. Okay. Yeah, I haven't explored this area much, I guess. Yeah, we never really take this path up here. So where do you lead? I wonder. Because I don't think I've ever been up here if you lead somewhere interesting. Unless it's just another way to get to a place I've already been before. Oh no, it just takes me to you. Okay, never mind. Well, that's not interesting, but... We do have something to talk to you about, so... Let's go ahead and talk to you. Hang out. Uh, no. Afraid not, Sammy. I'm on the clock. Always the professional. What are you blending on this island? Night alone in the vortex blend. Maybe you can try it next time. No single malts? Blended whiskey requires a fusion of single malts. But on this island, I have focused on serving blended instead of single malts. It is important to practice all areas of your repertoire, isn't it? Lydia's drink. What's Lydia's drinking these days? She enjoys a drink while she paints. She chooses something appropriate to her piece. She enjoys all of the different ways of serving, a lot like you, right, LD? There's something to be enjoyed in everything. What about the next island? 
It's important to breathe the new island in. Learn about it. A craft, a drink that can only be born on that island. The islands give the drink so much character, don't they? If we make it to the next island... Gotta go, Sam. I'll catch you later. Watch. Maybe there is something we should talk about, LD. Something troubling. Thank you. Sure. Something you want to tell the investigator? I'm sorry, I wasn't truthful. I was holding that flesh for someone. That is an original, Sammy. Why do you have god Don't flesh? I was asked to store it for someone. It was Witness. Ooh, Why did Witness ask you to store that flesh? He came to me and said he needed it to be stored. He didn't tell me anything else. Hmm. And you just accepted it without question? I didn't know what it was, did I? He just gave me a box and said it needs to be kept a secret. For the good of the Syndicate, wasn't it? Didn't it strike you as suspicious? Witness is an old friend. You'd do anything for old friends, yes, wouldn't you? This, this is suspicious as hell, Sammy. It's the truth, you. isn't it? I have no idea. Alright. Lydia and Sam's motive. Leaving the Syndicate. Lydia told me you guys... about you guys wanting to leave the Syndicate. What? She told you that. Can't break the bond of friendship, can you? Of course. Wish she'd kept quiet. You mean you'd wish she'd kept quiet? Has she given your secret away? I don't like people knowing our business. It's our relationship, not theirs. It doesn't give us a motive, because the law is the law. A new leader wouldn't change that, would it? I'm afraid I need to be the judge of that, Sam. How come you lied to me earlier? It paints us in a bad light. We're not council killers. We just want to explore the world. You understand, right? Sam told me they were happy and didn't have a problem with the council, but Lydia said otherwise. Sam lied. This doesn't look good, Sam. Yeah. You have been lying to me quite a bit, Sam. You've lied a lot, actually. You're like, oh yeah, I don't have anything, and oh yeah, th there's nothing going on with us. You lied a lot. <clears throat> You've been a naughty, naughty boy, Sam. Alright, now we go back to the council building and see if we can solve the second holy seal. Uh, council building? There we go. Uh, there was a second option to teleport to there. I should have seen what that was. Might have been a better option. Is that where we're going? Should be. Yeah. We gotta go up the stairs. I believe. Boom, 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 boom. Council building place of- Oh, wait. There's a blood crystal here? Have we never been all the way up here? You ever think about how messed up this is? All the time. You don't even know what I'm talking about. I haven't even presented the theme of the conversation. Sorry, Sorry I thought it was a general existential question. Exile really did a number on you, huh? You guys are the Guess bad guys. It. What do you mean? The Syndicate worships dying gods that want to rule the world and drown it in a sea of war Sorry. and blood. I don't see how that makes us the bad guys. Are you sure? Are you sure, Love Dice? <laughs> Yeah, I guess you wouldn't. We're all heroes in our own minds, right? Catch you later. Shinji, you are right. I can't believe Love Dies was just like, how does that make us bad guys? Derp da derp derp. Yeah, we have never been up here before. Why have I never been up here? Did I just think this went somewhere else slash I didn't need to come up here? What is the deal with this? Because there's blood crystals hanging out up here and everything. Shinji was hanging out up here, and I usually always talk to him when I see him. Well, hello. Am I just stealing offerings right now? Exclusive Silent Goat carving. Silent Goat, the first to speak to us. The Holy Catalyst. Alright. <clears throat> Is this the top of the council building? I'm getting a bit distracted here, but this is some interesting stuff. I'm, uh, finding. Like, Shinji's hanging out up here, and yeah, I think this is the top of the council building. And jump. Jump, I said. There we go. Let's go ahead and do this. Way of Blood Bar. I like the crows. Me too. They're comforting. I heard once that in the real world, someone made a video game where you shoot a crow, they sometimes give you a grenade. <laughs> it's talking about Resident Evil 4. 
I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's Resident Evil 4. You shoot birds and you can get like grenades and gems and stuff. Why were you talking to a citizen? I'm in charge of the abductions. But you shouldn't be talking to them. It messes with the interrogation. Don't patronize me. I run the abductions. You think I don't know that? You have no respect for me. You need to think about how you speak to people. So this guy's the ones that runs the abductions for citizens. Interesting. Interesting. A light-colored whiskey often served with ice and bar snacks. A good drink to relax with on a summer's evening. The dusk of a summer's evening is the most wonderful thing in the world. <coughs> okay. Well, we have another thing to get over here. Excuse me? Tire marks. On the roof? These must be from Lydia. She's the only one on the island with a car. What was she doing on the roof of the penthouse? That is suspicious as hell. Okay. Excuse me? This is repelling gear. Was somebody trying to bypass the martial guards? Lydia's tire tracks up here as well. Was someone trying to breach the building up here? Maybe it could get you in behind the guards? Wow. Tower of the broadcast music. To the heart. That's my favorite song. Okay. Well, we got quite a lot of information from up here. I really didn't expect there to be, like, actual evidence up here. This is it. The council building, where the bad shit went down. Can you feel it, love dies? The afterglow of murder, of mass murder? Man, I'm getting hard. It stinks of crime. It's repulsive. What went on in there? Who did that to who? How did the killer get in? There isn't an entrance to this roof. Some big investigating to do, eh? Enjoy! Well, I want to investigate this the rest of the way. Because we found two things over there. Wonder if there's anything else hiding back here? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, well this is definitely suspicious. This is definitely, definitely suspicious. So someone repelled up here, and also... Lydia's car is just... It was chilling here for some reason? Hmm. Suspicious, Lydia. Okay, let's jump down to this point. Why don't we? Does this lead anywhere in particular? Yeah. Okay. Suspicious. So... Yeah, this must be where they came in. This is a maintenance hatch for the council building. Looks like it's been opened. The anti-tamper seals are cut and the grate has been pried open. You'd need a thin tool to open this. Maybe it was Lydia's knife. I found it directly below this balcony. There are scrape marks going into the access hole as well. Hmm, secure grate and forced open. Was something manhandled through here? Yeah, okay. Okay, that's more information. Yeah, and this is... this area? Yeah, where we found the pedals and everything. Okay. Well, I think we're probably gonna go ahead and end this episode off here for now, just because we're at about 30 minutes and I don't want the video to get too long. Plus, I have to do some rendering still, so... Uh, yeah, there's still this. I hate how it still marks this, even though I feel like I've investigated everything here. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and see if I can find myself a save point. I just wanna... Come on, there's gotta be something hidden back here, right? And why would they let you walk back here? There wasn't something hidden, right? Hello, what is that? Oh, that's just the light. Okay. I thought that was something important down there. I see evidence everywhere. Okay, there's... balcony? Weird. Alright, there's not much here, though. What a weird little area. I definitely- oh! Hi! This is Ais Kiwami's apartment. The bio in Starlight for him says that he took his own life. Unheard of for a council member. Was he hiding something? Hmm, okay, I'm glad I followed this. I thought there'd maybe just be like a... blood crystal? Birth records. They're a record of two births. The names are redacted. The births occurred a couple of years apart. The first one was 27 years ago. So that's Dine and Gatte, right? Interesting. What are tampered birth records doing in the apartment of a council member that took his own life? If I didn't know any better, I'd say this is a big stinking clue about something. There's two of them. Sure. Who tampered with them? Whose children were being hidden? 
Does this have something to do with Dine and Gate? Ooh. We're finding out all kinds of secrets. Interesting. Okay. Is that a bullet hole? Looks like a bullet hole. Okay. So there was a reason for that. Got it. Yeah, and we've examined all that. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> save here. Seems like this has been quite a productive little episode. So I hope you have enjoyed and I will see you next time.